Welcome back. Arroyo <laughs> is gonna die, I think. Lily, uh, I don't think she's the chosen one. I think she's more like the cursed one. <laughs> have this bad luck dog trying to make it to uh, Vault City, looking for simply just explosives. <laughs> Found this small community, I think, called Modoc. Haven't even looked around, but I even made some explicit backups of some saved games because I'm starting to think we had a second vision from Hakunin that she's just not going to save Arroyo on time. So I don't know if we're going to have to restart from some previous save. A Brahmin, I don't know if you could hear that, was hit for 80 points and killed. It sounded like electrical shock, like a... Uh, like one of those cattle prod things. All right. Yeah, so... I don't know how she's going to do this. She can't even get dynamite. All right, here's somebody. An average person of average height of average complexion. Nothing out of the ordinary. Probably the owns the place. All right. I think she's going to look around a little bit. There's... Boy, that dog's making a racket. What time is it? All right. It's right before sunrise. There goes another Brahmin. Can't really see. Alright. Oh wow, well. okay. Oh, look at that. Not sure how this works. Does that help, I guess, if she's sneaking? Maybe we should just swipe this stuff? Hold on. Boy, there goes another Brahmin. Somebody's busy. Guess that worked. Right. Holy cow. Can't believe there's two bundles of dynamite. She doesn't necessarily need rope, but that would be handy. I don't know how this works. Hold on. Because there's also this. I don't know if she needs... Alright. Hold on. Alright. Give this a shot. <laughs> I think she got away with it. Alright. I don't know how she did that. Maybe, he's, maybe he doesn't own the place at all. Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. Can't believe she got dynamite. We could leave right now. But I think she'll uh, see what's around. He's got nothing to trade. Alright, asking what's uh, in Modoc. Welcome to Modoc. My name is Joe and I run this here trading post. We don't have much, just a few farms, a slaughterhouse, Rose's bed and breakfast, and a tannery. Just enough to produce goods to trade. Although that could all change with this drought. Yeah, I think we can hear the slaughterhouse. Yeah, run by Grisham and his son, Davin. Just east of here. Makes the best damn jerky this side of the Rockies. <laughs> Alright, Rosie's... Or Rose's B&B. &B. Maybe we'll stay there. On the north side of town, world famous omelets can cure people of whatever ails them. He doesn't believe it though. Alright, so here's the trading post of the general store that he runs. There's a tannery. Just north of here. Bolthus can work miracles with leather. Alright. Not sure we saw it. We'll ask about it. A big white building in the middle of town. 
It's the church. People of Modoc built it to show their faith. Lately, there hasn't been much to be thankful for, so nobody attends the sh sermons anymore. All right. I think she's curious what he does. Well, I guess he runs the store. On occasion, I'm the sheriff, mayor, judge, and any other official you can think of. All right, so he's in charge of Modoc. Well, according to him. Not sure if she believes it. But in case it's true. He was out getting supplies. When he came back, he found out that townsfolk had elected him. Seems no one else wanted the job. All right, looks like she can bring up the, uh... And yeah, nothing. Bring up the, uh, GAC, I think. And if it's a trading post... It would make sense. He has a lot of, uh, travelers probably come through. Well, you're in luck. I just happen to know where it is. <laughs> I guess we have some business to discuss after all. I don't think she believes him. He's got to be pulling her leg. How would he know where a gek is? Alright. I think she wants to know what he's trying to get out of it. Ah, yes. What I want. If you hadn't noticed yet, our little farming community is experiencing one of its worst droughts ever. The rainy season is unusually short this year, and our crops are dead or dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. Lily reminding him that uh, she can't make it rain. Anyway, like I was saying, we're in serious trouble and we could use your help. There's this farm at the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back, it just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright. He's starting to say a lot of things that are unbelievable. He knows how to get a gek. There's a farm that appears out of nowhere. Surprised we didn't see Jet in his uh, inventory. A group of us were out hunting when we noticed the new farm. But that wasn't a strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor only to discover that there wasn't anybody there. Wow, this guy can talk. All right, so they tried to contact the owners. They realized it must have been abandoned. So young Carl moved in. That's when things got bad. Carl started telling stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. Everybody laughed at him. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. They looked for him. He starts trembling violently. The horror. Bodies strewn everywhere. Some crucified. While others were left to rot out in the sun, I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. Sounds serious, though. I think she thought it was a joke. Apparently, the crops at this farm are flourishing despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? Assuming that he's going to tell her where the gack is. Yeah, how does she have any guarantee that he really knows? Alright, that's a start. Ask <laughs> him to cut off his pinky finger. Maybe show that he's sincere. But if he's crazy, he'll probably cut off his finger anyway. Alright, just start with that. Tell him to cut off his right pinky finger. What? <laughs> Is that how you see the deal where you're from? We're desperate. I believe you're the one person that could pull this off, so I guess it's a small sacrifice. If it'll save our town. Joe takes out a knife 
and proceeds to cut off his right pinky finger. Yeah, she's not going to stop him. This is the test. <laughs> All right. Well, if he's willing to cut off his pinky, I guess he's probably being sincere. I wonder if she gets the uh, finger. We've got to check. The farm is about a day's travel northeast of here. Alright, it's probably on our map. Come back when you found something. Wow. Did we get his finger? No. <laughs> okay. I thought she could, if it was fresh enough, she could sell it back to him. Sew back onto his hand. From Balthus the Tanner would probably know how to do that. Alright. So he claims to know where a Gek is. That's big news. But I don't think she believes it. Alright. Large water tank. Looks well maintained, which is probably a good thing. What's... What else is here in town? I think we're gonna look around. Well, okay, she just exposed the well or something. The walls of the well are very slick. All right, we need a rope. Why would she want to go down there, though? I don't think she does. All right. At least not now. Look at that. Townsperson. Alright, this must be the church. I guess these are windows. Did you hear? They found some idiot to go and investigate the ghost form. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Of course, that's Lily. Oh, look at this. Here's a sink. Maybe this is the holy water. Alright. Nothing really here, though. But these windows, that symbol looks familiar, I think, from the end of the first game. I think there was, was a Followers of the Apocalypse? Had something like that. Could be wrong. Boy. Main Street. A very active old man. Well, he can't quite place him, but he looks familiar. Oh my. A very shapely and seductive looking woman. And a handsome young man. It's curious. All right. Yeah, I can't believe she got that dynamite. That's, uh... Really good news. Just taking a look. Alright, first aid. Just gonna borrow it. Okay. Somehow it doesn't feel like stealing when you take a book. I thought there was a door here. So I guess this is like some kind of boarding house. 